episode four of our tiny houseboat. It's the 29th of August, 2020. It's been about what, seven weeks since I turned the hull over. And uh, over the past seven weeks, I've done some more work on the cabin top and around the sides. Um, and I'll show you what I did so far. Still a lot more to come. So this is what uh, the houseboat looks like now, still in my mother's backyard. Um, as you can see, the, the plywood has been put on the sides and uh, put some of the trim on. Uh, not quite all the trim. Right now I'm working on the oak uh, rubbing rails on the sides, trying to fit those on. Um, the plywood is all basically 3 8 uh, common spruce plywood. The uh, Most of the lumber I've been cutting up 2x4s, again uh, spruce, spruce fir, most of it's fir. Uh, lumber is uh, it's getting to be a problem. It's getting in short supply as it is I guess, all over Canada and maybe in the States too. A uh, combination of factors involved in that. Uh, so just to show you uh, Okay, I've put uh, some of the trim on and uh, along the rooftop, uh, a uh, edge along that, and also as you can see, there's a bit of curvature to the roof, not too much because I plan to use part of that roof for uh, outdoor space. Uh, put a ladder on the front to get up there, and I'm afraid if there's too much curvature, there's a chance of rolling off with too many sundowners. So better play it safe than sorry. All right. Uh, oh, I have added uh, a winch to the trailer. That's the only addition. Um, and uh, obviously the windows are not Indian. I bought the windows. I'll show you two of the ones I bought. Uh, again, taken from uh, RV Salvage Place nearby, so they're much less expensive than than uh, buying new. So far, not counting the new table saw which I had to buy because the other one packed it in, uh, we're a little bit over ten thousand dollars now for the ten thousand Canadian for the for the boat itself, about twenty five hundred for the trailer. So well, let's have a look and see on the side. So, most of the work I've been doing is up at the bow. It's been a bit of a learning experience dealing with all the curves and uh, the small imperfections. Uh, it's one of the problems when you're building outside off an eighth of an inch here, an eighth of an inch there, and whoops, uh, God, i got to fiddle around to get this thing to fit. So let me show you what I've done inside. So this is the inside of our tiny houseboat. As you can see, I've, I've made these curved beams, spaced about 18 inches apart. These have all been laminated. They're uh, inch and a half by about two inches, uh, laminated from two by fours, cut into strips, glued in, in a shape, and uh, stringers long to give us some more support. The, the, the roof will need a coat of fiberglass and epoxy to make it waterproof. That's still to come. And obviously I've got to finish off the framing on the inside because I do want to insulate everything with some insulation. Um, the floor has been put down but not fixed except under the foredeck and the aft deck. And I've left this part open partially because I'm staining the floor on both sides, waterproofing, sealing, staining. And to show you what I've done with the floor, uh, uh, put more stringers in and also support it where the skegs are. And they all have access holes to uh, tighten up the, the bolts that hold on the skegs. Uh, one of the problems has been not being able to get any quarter inch plywood. 
so we had to buy this quarter quarter inch uh, oriented strand board and paint it with a with an oil based paint to make it more resilient to water. So, what else do we have? Um, okay, let me go through here. Now the other thing which uh, I, we've done is modified the plans quite a bit from, from the original uh, Popular Mechanics 1959 plan in that we've reduced the reduced the uh, or increased the space for the fore deck and the aft deck to allow a more reasonable sized door to go in in and out. The other thing which I'm going to have to do throughout the boat is provide access to underneath the floor because I mean uh, at some point chances are you have to get at it for one reason or the other. It might be water, it might be damage, whatever. So I've, I've made these little openings and that's going to have to continue out throughout, throughout the boat to uh, ensure that I can get access at everything. Because you never know and if you think it's going to be never need, you never need to get at stuff, uh, I'm sorry you're mistaken. You've got to do it. The other thing I've done is, uh, let me move this aside is uh, oh this is going to be glassed in the four deck is all going to be fiberglass this is going to be glassed in as a as a chain chain locker road locker and maybe what a small Danforth anchor on there because you do need to anchor the boat at some point and there we go. These are the the windows. They're all pretty decent size. Uh, opening with screens, uh, which is necessary in Ontario in the summertime. And of course, I'm going to have to put some more framing in here, both to hold the hold the uh, insulation and also also to allow these things to be installed properly. This stuff here, the bow and so on, has been a bit tricky to get the curvature right and to get uh, uh, it's, been, it's been a bit of a pain. But uh, it's not finished yet. A uh, few more things to do. And other than that, that's, that's about it. So, oops. So, our tiny houseboat, and just to, we plan to do with the layout, is this area here, approximately 11 feet in uh, length, will be the, the galley, eating area, sitting area, but then the head will be about, about here, about this area here, and then the sleeping area about eight feet in length, uh, we'll take up this area here. So, I guess the next, uh, the next one is going to be uh, dealing with the interior once I finish the exterior. This is going to be the oak rub rail I'm going to put on, on both sides because it needs some adjustments to get it straight and making look good. This has been routed on both sides, a little rounded and uh, fairly expensive. This is probably the only decent piece of wood that we got so far. The quality of the wood, plywood tends to be all warped, uh, even good on one side, and no matter what, if you're spending more on it, it's still expensive. Two by fours, it's quite a lot of waste uh, in terms of cutting out the good parts. Uh, but uh, so far I've been able to use all of the cuttings for various parts, so not too much has has been had, had to be thrown away. The other thing is still all covered up with a tarp because it has been raining and I've got to watch the little holes and tears in the tarp because that tends to produce leaks. Uh, so that's about it. I think uh, it's going to take another another week 
or no, not that long, maybe about three, four days to finish off the outside, the bow and the stern, get that all done, and then I can start to tackle the interior and also the waterproofing of the roof. So, stay tuned. <laughs>